I rise to appeal the ruling of the Chair. Madam President, the proposed amendment is germane to the underlying bill because the underlying bill relates to the security of residential buildings and the proposed amendment relates to ensuring the security of the community by enhancing penalties for those who obstruct traffic and access to buildings during protests. The proposed amendment creates a new offense of aggravated disorderly conduct. It would make it a Class A misdemeanor to obstruct traffic or access to any building as part of an unpermitted protest or demonstration. Frankly, Madam President, I think we've all seen the effects of unpermitted protests in our communities and the effects of those protests on our residents, not only those who are in residential buildings, those who are going to work, those who are trying to cross bridges and tunnels, We've all seen that impact. The proposed amendment would also allow for the offense to be charged as a hate crime, elevating the penalty to an e-felony where individuals engage in this disruptive and dangerous activity because of their hateful attitudes towards another race, nationality, ancestry, or religion. Madam President, it has been 102 days since Hamas committed the terrorist attacks against Israel on October 7th. We have seen terrorist sympathizers disruptively engaging in protests, blocking traffic, and access to public buildings, including airports and train stations. The actions of these hateful anti-Semites have not only made for the Jewish population to feel less safe, they have also put every resident of these communities at risk by preventing emergency services from getting to people who need them. This kind of conduct cannot be tolerated and there must be consequences when someone creates this kind of danger. So Madam President, for these reasons, I strongly urge you to reconsider your ruling.